Good day, folks and fellow masterminds. Jimmy Schwinn here. I'm not on camera right now because it's still early in the morning and my hair is a mess. But I wanted to do a video because I promised everyone that I was going to take you step by step as I build this work from home expo.com application funnel. And um, I will be posting this again. It's going to be on my profile page on Facebook. It'll be in my page on mastermind webinars um, and other pages I have also will be in the mastermindwebinars.com for your members area, which I will show you here real quick. Hold on. Let's just log in. If you don't have a membership. Make sure to get one. It's free. Cost you nothing. Maybe this will log me in. Nope. That one won't log me in. So let's go to this one. Okay. So I will be putting it back here. Um, on your free membership, you don't have the mastermind group because that is a, a monthly membership group with private webinars and private training. Um, but, and this is I'm, what I'm editing, so you won't have that either. But I will be adding it back here. And uh, it's going to be, in, it's, I don't know if I'm going to put it in its own section or maybe I'll just put it under uh, sales funnel training and then the work from home expo sales uh, application funnel. And then I'll break that training down instead of, um, you know, one video, I'll put it on multiple pages, but it'll, that will be back there. So again, make sure you claim your membership. I will have it organized back there, but also I will have it on my social media um, assets, uh, but you'll have to kind of dig through it. I'll create like an out, not an album, but a playlist on YouTube. And I think I've already done that. And then also, I think it might be an album, video album in Facebook, right? But let me go through where I'm at. So this is the front page. Uh, again, when you pick a funnel in ClickFunnels, and let me just save this real quick, and then we're going to go through this. And this video is going to be a little bit, you know, probably 20, 30 minutes. But it's going to be worth your time, I promise you. So I want to walk through that. So when, when you do a funnel and click funnels, right? And you'll see I have multiples here. I got my dog mafia and I work for my, uh, my masterminds and our free uh, free bear report, funnel my biz. So I know how to build funnels, right? But when you um, add a new funnel, you can go with starting with the cookbook and then you can go and say, well, you know, I want to, get leads or whatever, and it'll, it'll bring you down um, to a point where then you can pick what you want as far as the theme. So let me show you that again here. Let me see if this one's, that's the one I'm working on. So let me see if I have anything. Well, let me walk through it real quick. So I'm going to start my cookbook. I'm just going to pick anything, okay? So I'm going to have a lead magnet. All right, I'm just going to click the leave magnet. And I'm going to say, I could pick some of these free ones, or I could pay and get something done for me. Uh, I usually just do the, the free ones, or and, and then I just pick a, uh, a theme, and I'll show you what I say. So go here, and then we'll go right back into Work From Home Expo. But I want to show you this. So Lead Magnet has the first page and the thank you page, right? So what it does is it allows you to pick one of these pre-built themes. And I did that for Work From Home Expo, but of course I have the front page, um, which is kind of the, it's the opt-in page we'll go look at. And then I have the application page and then I have the thank you page. So you can pick any of these themes, but then you've got to make them all look the same because maybe you like one theme that's not the same for the whole funnel. So you might like this theme, but then you might like another theme for the thank you page. So you want to get them all in sequence, right? So let me go now to the um, Work From Home Expo, which is this one right here. And so I had that in the beginning. I had to choose the themes. And I actually choose, choose three different ones. But now I'm bringing them in to... Um, of what do you want to call it, like in the sequence where they're all 
the same, right? The footer's the same, the top bar is the same, the copy uh, font type is the same, all of that. So let me show you what I've done so far, and then I'll go in and dig in a little bit. So temporarily, when I move over the domain name on Saturday, and again, I'm going to continue to do these videos so that you can go through this whole uh, process of me building this application funnel, and then I'm going to kind of do it in a little reverse, where usually I blueprint something out, I lay it out in Lucid Charts, and then I build it, but I'm building it, and then I'm going to lay it out in Lucid Charts, and then I'm going to show you what's going on and if I have any bottlenecks. There's a couple issues with ClickFunnels right now on getting people in and out of Facebook custom audiences. I've been hammering them for a while, um, but I'm looking for a workaround on that um, because it's important as you get, and I'll explain it to you, like when I have somebody come here and I'm, I've got them a pixel, right? I'm gonna be putting a pixel here and that will be building the website visits to this page. And then if they don't go any further than this page, then what am I going to do? I'm going to follow them around on the Internet, continuing to put the brand in front of them and getting them to come back in order to apply to put their opportunity that you can do from home on Work From Home Expo. As long as, again, it's got to be legitimate. But then that would be the retargeting ad. It would follow them around. And maybe I have a campaign. Um, you know, homepage targeting or home application homepage targeting. And then I got multiple ad sets there. So I'm testing to see which one is accomplishing the goal of then getting these people through the very first step, which is taking that very first step. Okay. And once they, which is their email address, right? I'm asking for something very little to get them to take the first step before they fill out the application page, which is their email address. I want to capture that email address from this home page. And again, the retargeting, following them around, not will, it won't only be Facebook, but it'll be other retargeting uh, situations like Google and Microsoft advertising, which includes Bing and Yahoo. And then also you got AdRoll, you got a lot of different things to really just syndicate. You like AdRoll, you're on CNN, Fox News, uh, Drudge Report, all over the place. So. I'm going to be walking through, I'm going to be opening this up just like I'm doing with the mastermind webinars and 100% showing you what I'm doing because I own the brand. So I don't care there, you know, about competition. I own work from home expo.com. No one else can own it. And it's, uh, I'm going to build it into a powerhouse to help people um, find the right type of opportunity to work from home, but also it's going to help people bring people into their organization. So it's going to be a win-win for, both the people looking and for both for the people that are looking for people to join your team. So I will open it completely up to all the retargeting ads and everything that I'm doing 100%. I can be transparent, unlike I can be with businesses that I'm a partner in and also clients because clients don't want me to show all of the, the secrets that we're putting together to crush their business. But with these two, I absolutely work from home expo mastermindwebinars.com, you'll see it all, <coughs> excuse me. So again, you can see I, I, you know, work from home expo, the color palette is green and gold. Now, one of the things that most of my clients and even business partners don't know, and I educate them on when we get together is the psychology of colors. So go to Google, put in psychology of colors, and then look, hit images, and then you'll see a bunch of different examples of what colors do, what they bring out of people. And when you're building a site, any site, in whatever niche you're in, you've got to look at how do you want to make people feel. I need people to feel like when they're going to utilize the Work From Home Expo, they're going to be able to make money from home, right? So using the gold, using the green, I'm representing that. So. Now I'm adding, and again, I'm not done with the logo. I just did another video edit where I'm making this a little bit bigger down here, uh, getting it more centered, maybe dropping a little bit down, maybe not. I got to check that out. And then down here, making this gold and making this gold. And then again, same correction to that and dropping it down. I like um, this logo literally to date. Let me show you. It's funny. 
has cost me $12. Okay. So I am adding another gig because I did just send, I'm a, I'm a kind of a perfectionist a little bit uh, to my own fault, but I did just send another video. I like doing videos to explain to these folks because it shows them exactly what I, I want and I want to take care of them. So maybe at the end of the day, I have $20, $20 in developing the logo. So again, this is the front page. And when you click on, it goes here. Now let me go to that front page real quick and show you. So on the front page, I have it hooked up to the integration where I'm dropping it, it into um, the, the application list, okay? And I'm gonna look at these. I'm still not completely you know, uh, done with the list, but when I put the list in, let me just show you the integration. The integration is easy. And I think I might've showed you this list uh, last video, but you know what? Repetition is the master of getting your skills done. So you see what I did? I go to ClickFunnels internal action edits. If say that I wanted to hook this part up to Lead Recruiter Pro, which is my CRM activity tracker, hot prospect builder, then I would use HTML form. And actually on the application page, I will be doing that. But on this first page, I'm going to add it to a list and I've got to create the other list. And then I'll walk through the list and in the, in, in the structure behind them as I do that. But um, this here WFHE application is just when they do this first process, okay? When they click on and it goes in that folder. And I might name it differently but that's the folder uh, email list that sits within ClickFunnels, okay? Now, um, again, you know, this is a very easy builder. These are sections. What is a section? Well, this is a section. If I wanted to create another section, I could go like this, and I could drag it up here. That would be a section. Then I could add a row, okay? And then I could add elements. It's really just point and click. Now, some people still think it's very difficult, and I understand that. That's why I own a company called BXM Marketing, where we actually do all that work for people at a very reasonable cost. But um, to me, you know, I've been doing this a long time. It's not. And for other people that, you know, put your, again, I love doing this. Um, if it's not your thing and you're a chiropractor and all you care about is you want to do adjustments, and help people with their wellness, then you don't want to build funnels, you outsource it, or you bring a partner in that can do it, right? I always tell people, um, clients and, and, and my coaching clients and, and students and partners, you know, you have three choices in business when it comes to get things that you need to know and get done. You can learn them yourself and implement them, which is a slower process. You can bring in a partner or hire an employee that can do it for you, or you can outsource. Those really are the only three choices that you have, right? So again, as I add this in, you can see that I have the sections. I got this section. I got the um, the rows, and then I've got the columns in the rows, and then the elements within the columns, and then another row. And then you can see that's in the same uh, right here in the same section, right? And that section goes from here down to here. And then I got this section because I want the gold. And then I got the footer section. So literally on this page, I got one, two, three, four sections. Okay. And then I've got this up here, no row. I just have it because I want this green like this. Okay. And then I've got, again, an image here within this element, uh, in this column, within this uh, row itself. So sections rows within the sections, columns within the rows, and elements within the columns, okay? And then when you go here to apply, now this is the button, then I've got all these things I can edit. Um, again, I'm going to go through and get the desktop done first, but I'll roll right into the mobile next, okay? Because mobile is really important. So many people are visiting your site via mobile, more mobile than tablet some tablet tablets not as much as desktop from all the ass of the sites that i track so mobile is really important because mobile usually is even more than desktop then it's desktop then it's tablet so here i can set an action 
And I could get a Facebook opt-in. I could get them to go to a website URL. I can go to the next funnel step. I can do all of that. But what I, I chose to do is pop, pop that up. So when they click on it, it pops up, they put their email address in, and then I'm sending them to the next funnel step via the general where I actually drop in the link, okay? And I wanna show that front page to the search engines, no problem. I don't wanna show the click funnel badge. So those are the settings there. So you've got settings here for the background, for the color of the background here. You've got, if you want to do custom CSS, you can add additional tracking codes. There's all kinds of good stuff that you can do here. And as I add tracking codes and stuff to this, I'll show you where I'm adding them and how I'm doing it, okay? So let's go to the next page. And the next page is the application page. And I'm not done creating all the, the fields, right? Because again, what did I want to do? I want to get it looking the same. So I've got, like this has to go up a little bit, right? You see how that's up? So I've got to look at this and I'm like, oh, okay. Let me go in here. Let me click on this. And I, I probably, it's either the section, well, that's zero top margin. How about that? Well, that's zero top margin. So now we go to the column. That's 30 top margin, right? So maybe it should be zero. Now I could check that. Hold on one second. And that's too much. So what I need to do is go back real quick and grab it here, go up here. And since I know it's that basic element, it's got zero there. So let me check that. It's got zero there. Top, bottom though, top, bottom is 2020. So on the, so what I'm gonna do here real quick, I don't like doing this, but I'm going to do it. I'm gonna open this up. So I have two of them open up at the same time. Now, you, there's nothing wrong with doing this, but sometimes I just, you know, you, you gotta be careful, right, what you're doing. So here I am looking at that the size of this, by the way, this size is a little bit bigger. And uh, that's something I might need to, well, that one I actually do have this the 602, but it looks a little smaller. So here I have the element at zero. We have the element at zero, right? And then we've got the row at 20-20. And we've got the row, hold on. And see the row is at 20, should be, it's a little bit different. Now let me tell you why it is and I'll fix that right now. So here is its own row, its own element. And then this is another one. So I need to do the same thing. And again, remember I picked these out. Let me bring this over here. I picked these out from pre-made ones and I'm redoing them, which I like to do. It's easier, faster. So what I need to do though, is I don't want this copy in this row. So I'm gonna go here, down where the row is. I'm gonna create another row. And then I'm gonna drag this element into this row, okay? Now I can get a clean situation to make sure, okay, well, again, that number's right. What is this up here? Okay, 20, 20, 10. Now I can go in here and go 20, 20, 10. And of course I'll fix this a little bit because I'm not gonna want it down that low. So I might come up here and move that up. See how I move that up? And then I can move that down if I want. So I'll play with that. But I'm just saying I want to show you how I get the top fixed. Okay. So I still got to play around with it a little bit, as you can see, because it's still dropping down. I like consistency with things. So I'm going to get that all straight, right? I'm going to get that straight. And again, it, for most people, it doesn't matter. 
but for me, it does. I just am a perfectionist like that. Here also, 2020. So remember, this here can affect this, right? And also, by the way, this section has 25 at the top. There could be the issue, right? What does this section have? 20. So there could be the problem. So you go 20. So again, remember, sections, rows, columns, elements. Very simple. Section, rows, columns, elements. Now see that? Now you can see between these two pages, that is consistent. And then I'll do the same here, right? So that is consistent now, okay? And again, I've got to add more of these. I'm going to show you how easy that is. I'm going to show you. Um, I'll add one right now. So when they go here, right, they click that. And I can do it, but I don't want to do it right now because I want to get the email in there, the autoresponder. And then they click, they land here. Then they fill out this information and then they send that application in, which then goes into Lead Recruiter Pro, which I will get into that. That's that's a system that I'm a partner in. And I'll get into that and I'll show you how it completely integrates into a CRM with activity tracking and hot prospect build, list building. This is one of the best systems to convert your leads into sales that's out there. And my partners, they deal with some of the biggest network marketing companies on the planet. They also deal with some of the biggest real estate companies insurance companies, and other traditional businesses, too. Sorry about that. I had to get a little water. <clears throat> you know, the morning thing. I still haven't had my other cup of coffee yet. So, again, we go through that. We land on this page, and then we're going to start filling out the application. And so let's go back to here. And so I don't get confused. Let me... So there we go. So if I want to create another field, like say here, I need to know, and I don't want to make this volume too loud, so I'm going to bring my keyboard up. Hold on one second. You might hear a little noise here, but hold on one second. Okay. So I want to, um, and maybe this, this might be better, in front of me, on uh, front of my, uh, in the back of my keyboard. Let's try that out. That might work good. Let me just... Organize it real quick. Sorry about that. You should be able to hear me. Okay. It seems that way on the meter there. So, okay. So besides wanting to know the, their link for their company, and again, I'm going to continue to work on this text. I'm going to just duplicate this real quick. I'm going to open it up, right? Because I'm, again, what is this? This is an ele element. I'm going to open it up. It's not the phone number. It's really not any of these because it doesn't say a business name here, right? So it's a custom type. And it's going to be business name. Okay, and then business name here. Always tell people here. And it's required, okay, because you're doing that. And then you're, you know you're, this is an application. Then I save it. And that's required. So once I build this form out, I will build these. Uh, now, let's see, these are text boxes, right? Or some uh, they're, they're different parts of the submit form. So I'll then create those in some of these, like name, la first name, last name, email, phone number, business name, website link. Those are pretty mandatory in LRP, Lead Recruiter Pro. But then there's going to be other things that I'm adding that I'll have to add that type in there. And I will walk you through that when I do it. But this form will not go in to ClickFunnels, all right? I will have this. Let me close this real quick. So again, up here, I'll have the email list where it says, you know, this is the first step, right, of the application. But after that, it goes into, um, into Lead Recruiter Pro. Now, through Zapier, I'll throw it in here, too. Okay, 
I'll throw it in completed application. Well, again, when they finish it, I'll throw it in there that they completed it and I'll create another list because I can do that through Zapier. So I can put it into Lead Recruiter Pro in the CRM. Okay, and let me show you again that. We'll just go to my JMS. I got a bunch of these for different companies. So you can see um, my CRM. Okay, so if I click here, don't send any of these out. The CRM side, click this person here, and then they would have their phone number and all that. And I know where that came from. That came from jimmyschwinn.com, right side, uh, Mastermind Web and opt-in. That's where that came from. Okay, I can put my notes. I can see all their activity. I can see everything. So I needed to go where I can see what's going on, right? I can't have it in ClickFunnels where I can't see the activity. I don't get a hot prospect, a, a list builder. I have my uh, emails in here, my tasks, calendars, everything. Now I don't. I have a a guy that helps me, uh, my right hand guy, Jimmy, Jim, Big Jim, and um, he handles this account. And then we, you know, we got to set up appointments and all of that. We do that. But when you've got to have a CRM to run your leads, you got to have activity tracking. So when you're sending out autoresponders, you actually know if they open up your PDF, they watch your video and all of that. And as I tie this all in, again, I'm going to be 100% transparent and show you all aspects of this application funnel. And then again, everything on Mastermind Webinars too. So as I build these out, I'll build them out. What we don't have in here, I will build them out. I mean, I can go in here and I can create custom field. See that? And by the way, that's a video on it. So the nice thing about LRP is you got the videos all there. So if I want to go in here, I can manage custom fields and then I can add a custom field. And then I can start creating the fields based on the fields that I'm doing here. Okay. So as they enter this information and then the additional fields that I want, because I want to know about their business, I want to link to it, we want to, we want to do our due diligence, we want to verify it, we want to make sure it's real. So that will then go into the LRP system and any of the fields I need to create, I can create. And then I create what's called an external form. If I go here and I go to external form and I'm going to walk through the whole process, then those new fields show up here. Then I can choose the folder, I can build the folder, I can choose the campaign, that, that's the autoresponder campaign. I can put as many autoresponders in here as I want. I can send as many emails a month as I want. I integrate it with SendGrid, so my email delivery, I can put the SMTP, we'll go through all of that. I can put in a, a prospect, um, uh, the first notification, so as soon as they fill out that application, I send them a thank you email. That goes out immediately, throws them into an autoresponder folder, and then any other emails I send them out are in that folder, and they go out at specific days, right? And then I can put the ad code, where did this lead come from, and then if I uh, the site, where is it going? Like after they submit it, then what page does it fall on? And my page would, of course, be, now it's going to be work from home expo when I get done, right? But my page would be the thank you page, okay? So, and again, I'm going to really, as I continue to, to work on this, in between everything else I do, I'm going to continue to do these videos, and then I will organize them in the mastermindwebinars.com free training again, and then on Facebook in an album, and then on YouTube in a playlist. So you can watch them wherever you feel like watching them. I'm going to give it this this will be given 100% free outside of the free membership of mastermindwebinars.com. But everything with mastermindwebinars.com that I do, including the membership funnel and all of that, will be internal uh, in the free membership of mastermindwebinars.com. I can't put that all out free because my purpose is to build my free membership so that people see the value that I'm delivering with my, me and my team. And then that way, if they want to become part of the mastermind group, which is a very low cost uh, per month to get additional private webinars, additional private support, or they want one-on-one -on -one coaching, 
or they want to move up the value ladder for, uh, further where we do it with them or we do it for them, meaning building their business online properly, getting it ready to, and helping them get it leads generated and sales generated, and then optimizing that process, we have that value ladder. And I do, again, in mastermindwebinars.com, train on that for free, by the way, just everything for free. Again, I wanna give everything that I know for free, that way people that can do it, awesome, do it, get it done, if you want to show me some love because I've given you this free information, sign up under ClickFunnels under me. Get Lead Recruiter Pro if you see the value there like I do. We built multi-million dollar businesses out of there. I've done other private uh, systems with, with the same technology partners on the same platform and literally recruited 70% of the entire network marketing company. Okay, so it's a powerful system. But, you know, I want to give it free because if you like the tools that I'm using and you believe uh, in them like I do, then you sign up under them. I mean, Lead Recruiter Pro is, I'm part owner of it. I own half of it. So it's mine anyways, but ClickFunnels, you sign up under me and let me make uh, some commission, affiliate commission, and then guess what? We even help you with that, okay? So a lot of value there, right? A lot of value. So I cannot um, train on Mastermind webinars uh, and, uh, you know, um, and put it out there on social media and all that for free, but I am going to do it with Work From Home Expo. So you can see where I'm headed with this, okay, with the form, and I'll be working more on building this out today and tomorrow. My goal is to get this thing completed by end of day tomorrow and then change the workfromhomeexpo.com, add the, change the DNS, add it into the ClickFunnels system, and then um, let it propagate, get the SSL uh, uh, activated, and then move forward, okay? So once they fill out this information, then the next thing they go, they go to, and again, it's front page, boom, click on that, lands on this page. Now, again, when this happens, right here, let me show you. Sorry about that. Yeah, I've got that there for now. I'll name it properly and get it all into a work from home expo. So here, I can do automation. So right here, of course, I'm going to want to do an action where I'm going to want to get notification, right? So I want to get notified that this is happening. Um, so when somebody opts in, everyone, so I can do that. And then I have to set this email up, by the way, but I will. And then that will go into that folder, Work From Home Expo. Every time someone, so I create that. And there's notification, okay? So every time someone um, fills out this, I will get notified at that email address, okay? And then I can add a new email and then I can go through and say, okay, where do I want it to come from? Well, everything like you can see, I've got one for my own company and then my mastermind, but this is our marketing company. So everything that we do with Jimmy Schwinn or Mass, uh, Work From Home Expo, anything like that, I just utilize this. I can, by the way, with my ClickFunnels, I'm at the 297, I can put as many, I think, as many of these SMTPs I want. So I might do one that's just for, probably will do one that's just for um, Work From Home Expo and leave this one alone. So I'll be adding a fourth one in there. So um, you can attach that. So as soon as somebody fills that out, you get notified and they get the email. Now, the email with this will be delayed. And again, I will be mapping this out on um, the blueprint, the Work From Home Expo application funnel blueprint that I'll be putting together. Again, I'm kind of doing this a little backwards usually you know, with clients or always with clients, always with um, my business partners, I flow chart it out first, okay? And again, I've got to go through the spell checking and all of that. I'll run all that through and, and make sure every page is right. And once they do this, I'm going to delay the email. I'm not going to send it out right away. I'm going to give them an hour to fill out the application page because I... The email that's going to go out to them is going to 
ask them, oh, I see that you started the process of filling out the application page, but you did not finish the process. That's that email, okay? That's the email that I'm going to attach to this first step of the application funnel, which I'm calling WFHE, which means Work From Home Expo Home. So I am going to add an email there. I could add a text message, but I'm not asking for the phone at that point. But I am collecting that phone on the application page, right? So at this point, I will, again, open up another SMTP for Work From Home Expo, add the email, time it for an hour. That way I give them time to go to the second step of filling out the application page. If they don't do that within an hour, then the email goes out. And also, I then add them into the custom audience that are be in Facebook and other things for remarketing that will follow them around, giving them an incentive and keep reminding them to fill out the application page. And we'll take them right back to this page. So hopefully you're starting to see where I'm heading with this, okay? So now I've given them an hour, they filled out the application page, now they land on the thank you page. Now, with a lot of clients, and excuse me, let me, let me get some more water. With a lot of clients that I consult for over the years, they do not use the thank you page efficiently, okay? They just say, thank you, got your application, and that's it, right? So here, and I'm not done with this yet, I'm not done with it, but here on the, app, on the thank you page, and I will get this in tune again at the top, I'll make sure it's all in sequence, you see how I did it from here to here, right? I'll do it the same here. And um, I'm thanking them, but I'm telling them also, a work from home expo representative will call you to verify that you're a real person because one of the things about me, it's about quality, not quantity. So the same th way I approach all of the businesses I'm involved in, I am approaching Work From Home Expo in its directory because I'm giving people a big opportunity and they gotta be real people with a real legitimate opportunity that are willing to become a leader if they're not already, to help people that join under them succeed. If not, I have no interest in putting them on the directory, they will not be on the directory because there's enough people out there doing the right thing that I could put thousands of people in my directory, so I'm not worried about it. But the next step is while they're waiting, follow the steps below that will help them ge you generate more leads and, and sales for your opportunity right now. I need to put right now there, so let me go out of here while we're thinking about it, because it is right now. I, in my database, have probably, I don't know, anywhere from five to eight million network marketing leads, and then hundreds of thousands of other lead, uh, leads. And so, you know, I know how to generate leads, right? So here, so let me go right now, because right now, right? They want to make, they want to do it right now. So let me do that. And so right now, they can get their free membership, and it's still, I'm working on this. It's not nearly done. I might make it one, uh, you know, I'm, I'm looking at it but get their free membership, cost them nothing. This is where they're gonna learn how to generate leads and, and uh, generate leads for their business, set themselves up online properly. Like I'm gonna show you how I'm doing with this application funnel from Work From Home Expo, then have everything added to it properly, the tracking, the remarketing, all of that set up properly and getting the leads coming in. And then after that, what's next? You gotta convert those leads into sales. And that's where Lead Recruiter Pro comes into play, okay? That's where Lead Recruiter Pro, Pro, uh, Pro comes into play. It's one of the best systems to, to help you recruit your leads into sales because it actually gives you the intel you need when people are looking at your stuff, when they're looking at your, your open your email, or they looked at your video and how much did they watch, or they opened up your PDF and downloaded it, or they visited another link that's all trackable and builds activity, which gives points to build the hot press, hot prospect list, which then allows you to spend your fortune in the follow-up time 
with the right people. Because the fortune and the follow-up is a true statement, but it's with the right people. People that are actually looking at your information, not people that you're chasing down. Okay? That's not good. You don't want to chase people down. You want to send them the information. You want to continue to remind them to look at the information. And you want to be able to see that they're looking at the information. And as they get on your hot prospect list, you want to get them on the phone. You want to get them with your leader. You want to get them on a three-way, whatever you need to do to move them down that step to a close. Okay? And I know about closing because when I first got on the Internet, I built a call center with over 20,000 salespeople. I was bringing in 10,000 plus leads a month. And we were doing five hundred to seven hundred thousand dollars a month in that business. Okay, so it's about leads and working those leads and converting them into sales, right? And within mastermind webinars, you learn how to set up your business properly. You learn how to generate leads based on giving a beautiful lead magnet, like I do with the free mastermind webinar uh, webinars.com membership, and then converting those leads up your value ladder by one, your free offer being so valuable that they can't believe how valuable it is. They believe it because it's there, but they're just like, they get to know, like, and trust you, right? And then they move up your value ladder where they're actually coming out of their pocket with some money to spend with you because they know, like, and trust you. And then you can move them up the value ladder where they need to be moved up, right? It's all about them and their needs, but you got to give them the ability to move up in mastermind webinars, I teach you and other people that I'm bringing into the platform teach you how to do this. Now, the majority of the sales funnel training and the optimization, all that's going to be me and the knowledge that I have. So you should be able to do that like a rock star. OK, the, most of the opportunities that come my way, whether it's a joint venture or a business partnership or whatever, is because of my abilities to do what I'm showing you and what I'm showing you for free in the back of mastermindwebinars.com. OK. The second thing is, once you got those leads rolling in, you ain't gonna work them out of your email. You better have a CRM, Activity Tracker, Hot Prospect List Builder, that's Lead Recruiter Pro. And then the third step will be the support group that I'm building for Mastermind Webinars off of Facebook, because Facebook is not friendly to business. So um, I'm building it on LinkedIn, where there's more business people. So I will be hooking that group up and then I will get people to join that group where they can ask questions and get support. So, so far, free, $1 for a seven-day trial, $29.95 a month or $49.95 a month if you want to be a team leader and share funnels and autoresponders and all that with your team. Very economical. Four people that you bring in, your system's free. And then a support group that helps support any questions on LinkedIn, because LinkedIn's for business. So these are the three steps. And again, I see so many people that miss the thank you page opportunity. Don't miss it. But again, deliver value on it. Not like you're just trying to sell them something. Deliver value. I'm giving another thing for free that has massive value. Again, there's more value in there right now than most people charge that, get, that people charge thousands of dollars a year for to be part of their training platform. And I'm doing it for free. And I'm doing it for free because I want people to see that I know what I'm doing and that I'm giving it to them with love and life so they get to know, like, and trust me so that if they want to become part of my mastermind group and take my one-time offer for $49.95, I think it's $47, or if they don't take my one-time offer, they do it for $67, and they actually are now part of many more webinars per month that actually help you do what you're doing and then all additional training which is me actually reviewing some clients sites and helping them that have allowed me to record it so you're and, and then additional private training that i'll be doing so it's a powerful powerful thing for that first level on that value ladder right and then i move up to one-on-one -on -one coaching with myself i only got so many hours per month and then I have other coaches that I work with and have mentored and trained for the additional hours that will be needed. And then we go into a done for you and a done with you, which I have a company. That's what we do. We have over 400 people behind that platform where we can do as much business as we need, but do it properly 
economically, with integrity and transparency, right? That's important. And where the client can see all results and get email notified of all results. So powerful stuff. But again, I'm getting value here. All right. So here's where I'm at. I just wanted to do this second video on Work From Home Expo application funnel. I will be doing more as I get this thing completed. And um, I will be again adding them to my profile page on Facebook be adding them to LinkedIn. I'm going to be putting them in the LinkedIn group, adding them on my YouTube channel for Mastermind webinars and organizing them in the Mastermind webinars. And I will put it under sales funnel training and it'll just be a work from home expo application funnel build. And then I'll put it all under there. Okay. So thank you very much for watching this video. If you completely watched it, God bless. Have a wonderful and fantastic, amazing day.